Dr. Paul here. We've got a young lady. I walked through the waiting room and saw an eye that looked pretty impressive. So we're gonna go take a look. Hi. How Hello. you guys doing? Doing well. Oh Other my than... goodness, Stella. How oh, are God. you? What's going on here? So uh, when did that start? Uh, four days ago. Okay, but the last four days has been bothering you the most, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, how old are you now? Uh, nine. You're nine years old? Wow. Mm -hmm. I know, does that hurt? Is, uh -huh. Does the light, is the light hard? Uh-huh. A little bit? Okay, I'll get the light off of it. You were totally fine until four days ago? Mm-hmm. And then what happened? And then I got sick. What happened? How? In what way did you get sick? Um, my nose started getting sniffy. Yeah. And I started throwing up. Oh, okay. And my eyes started getting red. Okay. Low grade fever up to 100, tummy aches that were constant, and then these throwing up episodes. And then you have cough and sore throat. Ah. Has your throat been hurting the whole time? Uh huh. Okay. And then one eye got really red and goopy, sensitive to light, and that all happened in the last four days? Yeah. Four days. Okay. Sweetest girl in the world, though. So we'll take a look in this here. It looks fine. Looks fine. Open real wide. Say, ah. Uh, uh, almost got it. Uh, again, ah. Uh, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and swab that throat. Let's do that ah uh, one more time. Ah. Uh, big ah. Uh, good job. And you know, some people, this is for our friends on YouTube land, when you, uh, when you do throats, I tend to see people go like this. <laughs> and it's like ah. So I, I gag really easy and I, boy, I just can't handle that. So I try to be sensitive and just swab the side of the throat. Perfect. There we go. So that is really, 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 really red. What are you looking for, Doc? Well, I just want to see. And you haven't gotten anything in that eye, have you? Uh -uh. Has it had a lot of pus? A lot of drainage? Yes. Yeah? And this other eye, look up a little bit. Just starting a little bit. You can kind of see it's starting to get a little red. Okay. All right, very good. Listen to your heart. That's good. Listen to your lungs. Take a big breath. Again. All right, now, tell me okay? Did that hurt? No. Okay. You know, with vomiting, you want to make sure the abdomen is soft, that you don't have an acute abdomen where, you know, it just hurts to just even touch or push in, but your tummy's all right. Okay. Okay. So I'm also interested in seeing that you have just sort of a little bit of a rash around here, kind of little, little dots. Yeah. yeah. How long she's, have... she's had some bloody noses. Okay. The dots around her nose uh -huh. and stuff, that's been fairly consistent. For how long? Uh, for, uh, at least since school started. Oh, okay. All right, so Your looking in. got the same thing. Really? So looking in your nose, it's a little crusty in there, and I'm seeing, when I see little lesions around the nose, I wonder about impetigo, which is a staph, staph or strep infection that can kind of get around the nose. Uh, certainly the bacteria in the nose can get into the eye. Our tear duct runs from the inner corner of the eye down into the nose. So it's an easy way to sort of have bacteria move as, a, as far as answering where that came from. So we're going to find out if it's strep. If your strep throat is positive, I'm thinking this is strep. And we'll treat uh, the strep throat with oral antibiotics and the eye drops will target all the major organisms, the strep as well. If it's not strep, I'm thinking staph. We're going to go eye drops and, and cover staph. Okay. So either way, you're going to get eye drops and an antibiotic. And does, it, does it hurt pretty bad? Yes. You being brave though? Yes. You're the most brave. I think we've got to do a high five for braveness and a thumbs up to our viewers. You guys give a thumbs up for our young lady here. You're like the bravest patient we've had in a long time. And uh, appreciate you being willing to share that with folks on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Anything you want to say to your new fans? No.
<laughs> Fair enough, sister. <laughs> so folks, the rapid strep came back positive for strep. So as I was mentioning, when you have impetigo, the skin infection that can be around the nostrils, little pimples around the face, uh, that's staph or strep typically. Strep, which is the same thing that causes strep throat. She had a slightly red throat, which we cultured, came back positive on the rapid strep. Can also cause pink eye, as can a number of other organisms. So strep throat with pink eye and impetigo, all in one delightful young lady. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. <laughs>